As COVID cases increase, so does the concern about the biggest convention in Las Vegas coming up in January. We're talking about CES. That's right. Well, Sally Hadamia reports some companies are choosing not to participate in person due to safety. Nevada Governor Steve Sisolak responds to reports that some companies are pulling out of CES. I was disappointed to see some companies, a couple of companies, pulled out of CES. Hopefully, that there won't be a lot more. According to Brian Gordon, principal with Applied Analysis, the massive electronics convention helps our economy. The last 22 months have been a little bit different than uh, our normal uh, historical trend lines. Uh, it's important for our tourism industry. And we're hopeful that uh, people will continue to visit Las Vegas. Those dollars that uh, ultimately translate into jobs are critical. About a third of the overall job base in Southern Nevada is tied directly to uh, the travel and tourism industry. And the convention sector within leisure and hospitality is uh, really a key component. Gordon adds that with time, we will get back to pre pandemic levels. There are going to be some setbacks as we move along, but. You know, to date, I think the overall recovery has been much better than most of us had expected when we were sitting here in March of 2020. The Giant Tech Show with over 2,100 exhibitors is set to begin on Wednesday, January 5th through Saturday, January 8th with vaccine and mask requirements. It's one of the reasons you need to get a vaccine is to protect our economy. Sally Jaramillo, live, local, now. Thank you, Sally. Well, the Consumer Technology Association released a statement indicating there's been 42 exhibitors canceling over the past week, but there were also 60 new exhibitors added for the in-person event.